If you are struggling to shoot an NBA 2K24, you found the right video. I'm going to show you the best jump shots for shorter builds and taller builds. But before that, I'm going to give you a bunch of tips that will make shooting in this game a lot easier. All right, first thing you want to do to be able to become a better shooter in this game is make sure you buy jump shot boosts. Buying boosts has really been a big thing for the last few 2Ks, and it really opens up your green window. So you want to make sure you got boosts at all times. Right now, I got 27, so I'm going to have to buy some more. I'm going to have to max that out to 99. The other boost you really don't need unless you're a lock, you can get still and block. And then for guards, ball handling may help a little bit. But the most important one for shooting is jump shot boost. You always want to make sure you have that. And while we're talking about boost, you also want to make sure you have a Gatorade boost. In order to get that second bar of stamina, you want to make sure you buy all three of these right here, along with doing your workout so you get that double stamina bar. Stamina is very, very important if you didn't know when it comes to shooting, because if you didn't know, having low stamina affects your shooting in a lot of different ways. It can change the speed of your jump shot. It can lower your green window, a whole bunch of negative things. So you want to make sure you have stamina at all times, especially if you're a guard and you're dribbling around. You want to make sure you have Gatorade boost and that stamina bar. But let's say you're a lock or a popper and you're just spotting up, but you're not using a lot of your stamina bar. You can get away with not buying Gatorade boost. Next are your badges. You want to make sure before you go out to the rec or prom, whatever it may be, you want to make sure you have a decent amount of badges. And I suggest going to go play your 3v3 street ball games or just playing my creator grind your badges. But you want to make sure you have those, the ones you need. So if you're a guard, and you're a main guard, you want to make sure you have stuff like open looks. Catching shoes is important for all builds. Green machine is also another good one. Spot finder is a good one. I haven't really got no progress on that one, but you want to make sure you got that on. But that's another good good badge and then for all my guards agent 3 is the best shooting badge in the game still this year limitless range is still good dead eye as well is good but for the most part you want to make sure that you max out these badges because if you're going to the parking you have no badges you're going to be able to notice it if you want to grind your badges in the park so be it it's going to be harder to shoot but if you were to go to your 3v3s or if you were to go to your my career games you'll be able to get those shooting badges and then go to the park and you'll be able to shoot a lot more consistently for our next tip we're going to be talking about hot zones and i bet there's a lot of y'all out there that don't really know about hot zones but if you don't know how to get to this page you want to go over to your city and you want to go over to your 2k player car and after that you can just go over to your hot zones you'll see wherever you're hot on the court so as you can see my spots are the top wing and then the right corner that's why i shoot majority of my shots or the paint and i need to work on getting them at the top of the key and on that right side as well but the way you do this is just by shooting shots in those spots consistently the more consistent you shoot there the better your hot zones will be and your green one though will go up that much more by having that hot zone in that specific spot neutrals are all right neutral isn't bad but you don't want to get a cold spot cold spots are hard to get rid of and it's hard to make shots in that area so if you're shooting really bad in the spot don't force shots in that spot maybe get takeover and then shoot on that spot on the court but do not keep forcing it if you got a cold spot and if you didn't know you can come to this gym the art of shooting and work on your hot spot so as you can see right here you got different options all right now i have top left of the corner so i'm not gonna work on that one for this video this time i'm gonna work at the top of the key and also on that right wing so all you do is you get into the drill and then you're gonna just shoot shots in that spot it's gonna help you get your hot spots it's a super easy and super simple drill to do you just hit right here and then you'll shoot in that next spot all right as you can see i finished a drill and i got two more hot spots so that's a quick fast way to get your hot spots and if you don't know how to get to the gym all you do is bring up your maps and then go over to courts and then go to art of shooting gym and they'll be right here another very important thing that people might not pay attention to is a contest system in nba 2k24 so every year in 2k the contest system might be different so you have to learn a contest system you got to know what's contested and what's not and as of right now a lot of shots aren't contested because if somebody's not close to you with their body and with their hand up they're not going to get a hot contest so if somebody's sagging off of you and you know your jump shot you have good settings and you have a decent shot cue you'll be able to get that shot out before they can really contest you speaking of shot cue we're going to move over to our settings so the two main settings when it comes to shooting is shot timing visual cue and also your jump shot meter i recommend everybody no matter what you are a popper a lock a guard whatever your build is turn your jump shot meter off you can keep it on and learn your jump shot but once you're comfortable with that jump shot take your jump shot meter off because mike wang did confirm that you get a 20 percent boost to your green window on top of all the other tips that are going to boost your green window doing this is going to boost it even more so shooting should be very easy if you've done everything up to this point the next setting is your shot timing visual cue and this right here is preference it just depends on who you are personally i'm using push right now i think push is the smoothest for me and if you didn't know jump is very early set point is early push is late and release is very late so i'm using late right now last year i used early but i feel like push is the sweet spot for me right now i recommend if you're heavy handed to go push or release and if you're very precise you can go early if you want to have a quicker release it does not change the speed of your jump shot all it does is change when you release the button if you're enjoying this video and you find it helpful click that like button for me but let's get into the jump shots starting out this is the jump shot that i'm using on my 6-2 build so this would be good for any build that's 6-5 and under for our base we're going to be using kevin porter jr release one we're going to go with oscar robinson and release 
Sue, I'm going with Dwayne Wade. This is the same jump shot I use in my 6-1 and 2K23. So the shooting is pretty similar to the way it was last year when it comes to jump shots. Some things have changed, but some have also stayed the same. For our release speed, we're going to go fast as possible because you always want to have a fast jump shot. And then our blending is going to be Oscar Robertson at 80% and Dwayne Wade at 20%. All right, now for my second jump shot, which will cover any build that is at least 6-5 all the way up to 6-9. So that'll be my tall guards, my locks, and my poppers. The base you're going to want to go with is JT Thor. It's by far one of the best bases in the game. It reminds me of the mellow ball from last year, but you want to go JT Thor for the base. Our upper release one, we're going to go with Oscar Robertson and our upper release two, Sadiq Bay. As you can see, our release height is at an A, release speed is A+. Defensive immunity is kind of low, but it doesn't matter because you're going to get your shot off before the defense gets there. Our Thomas ability is also at a D-, minus, but your green window is being boosted by all those tips I gave you earlier, so that won't play a huge factor. All right, onto our release speed, that's going to be fast as possible. Always have a fast jump shot, and then our animation blend is going to be 50 Oscar and 50 Sadiq Bay. Now that you have the best jump shots, click on this video on the screen for the best dribble moves for all builds.